A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now, standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Jesus cared about the things and feelings of everyone involved in the wedding feast. He understood the cultural ramifications of the wine running out. He knew his friend would be embarrassed and the people in Ghana would not forget what happened at the wedding. In Jesus' day, wedding feasts would last many days and the bridegroom was supposed to supply enough food and drink for all of the guests for as long as the party lasted. It was a very expensive event and everything needed to run smoothly. When the wine ran out, it could have caused the bridegroom much shame. Instead of letting that happen, Jesus worked a miracle. When, when Jesus went to the wedding feast in Cana, he had not yet begun his ministry. When his mother came to him, he told her this very thing. However, that did not stop him from performing a miracle. Jesus took everyday objects, jars and water at a common event, a wedding, and made them extraordinary. Jesus wants to do this in every person's life. When we slow down and take time to look at our lives, it is easy to see God coming alongside of us, transforming the common everyday events into extraordinary life-changing experiences. What was important about Jesus changing water into wine? If you had been one of the servants, how would you have felt about Jesus? I would have thought it was he was crazy, being afraid of him, worried that he didn't know what he was doing. The servants did not know they were taking wine to the master. How would you have felt if you were carrying what you thought was water to the master of the banquet? The servants willingly took the water to the master. What does this say about them? That they are very submissive, they have no rights, they aren't very smart, 
they always do what they are told what do you think the servants thought when they heard that the water they brought had miraculously been turned into wine why is it significant in your life that jesus turned water into wine the master of the banquet said the bridegroom hath saved the best wine until last what does this say about the miracle jesus performed where do you need to see the hand of jesus turning the ordinary things of your life into extraordinary things have you been looking for out of this world miracles missing the little ways god wants to bless you will you choose today to live your life with jesus so he can work a miracle in you let us reflect on the above questions